let's take you live now to Victoria. The Victorian Treasurer is speaking now about the GST. He's weighing in. He sent out a statement ahead of this saying that the New South Wales Premier doesn't understand the GST system. Let's listen in. More in GST than they're receiving. Um, and indeed, uh, if you look at the new system plus the no worse off guarantee that the Commonwealth is putting in place, uh, so the system in its pure form that the Morrison Turnbull government put in place generates 96.5% return to the state of Victoria. Uh, uh, if you look at the altered no worse off guarantee process, uh, then that system generates $94.6 billion or, and Victoria gets $23.7 billion or 97.4% of uh, our payments to the GST. I know there's a lot of math in this, but put simply, we're getting less than 100% in GST returns. Uh, but unlike the New South Wales Premier, we're not being churlish about it. Uh, we don't have this dripping sense of entitlement that seems to constantly come out of New South Wales, uh, that if they're not being uh, basically given preferential treatment, they... Uh, cut up rough about the consequences, we say 97.4% is not a bad return to Victorians. We actually support the Federation. We support the idea of horizontal fiscal equalisation, that is looking after the poorer performing economies in the nation. We leave it to New South Wales and their Sydney-based mentality uh, to care only about themselves and their welfare and not make a contribution uh, to the rest of the Federation. Uh, from our perspective, the idea that uh, uh, the system as it would have applied had Scott Morrison and uh, Malcolm Turnbull not put in place this policy atrocity uh, of the West Australian floor price, it would have generated $88.4 billion, $0.5 billion, and, New and Victoria would have got 104% uh, on our GST. So we would have actually got a very substantial return. Uh, to be clear that uh, in 14 out of the 25 years that the GST has been in operation, Victoria has had a lower GST share than New South Wales. But one thing for sure, New South Wales pref preference and privilege doesn't stop there. Because for the last five years, Victoria has received on average 60% of uh, uh, our entitlement, that is our population share, of allocations for infrastructure. Uh, and in the last mid-year financial update that the Commonwealth produced, Victoria got the grand total of 1% of national infrastructure funding from the Commonwealth. Uh, but, uh, of course, we didn't hear much bleating from New South Wales at the time. And the reason being, New South Wales has always been privileged in terms of their entitlements from the Commonwealth, because what they lose in terms of GST share, they make up in national infrastructure allocations. Uh, that's the Commonwealth's way of looking after their mates in Sydney. Nothing like a good Victoria New South Wales rivalry there. Tim Pallas taking aim at Chris Minns, saying that he was had a dripping sense of entitlement coming out of New South Wales and a Sydney-based mentality. Well, this this came after a statement from Tim Pallas as well, and Chris Minns uh, responded at a recent media conference. I'll tell you what he had to say. He was asked about this statement. He said the only thing worse than Victoria taking New South Wales GST dollars was them whinging about it the next day. So it is game on here.